Welcome to our training module on business bank accounts. My name is Leandro Eusebio and I will be guiding you through this module. Today, there are many reasons as to why you may be looking to open a business bank account. We will now cover some of the main points and benefits for you to consider when opening a business account, be it from a high street bank or a financial technology company known as fintechs. Having a business bank account appears more professional and instills trust and confidence to your clients, to your suppliers, stakeholders, or anyone who may need to interact with you. This will make your customers feel more at ease and comfortable when paying for things such as invoices or having to transfer money. If your business is a legal entity, this could be a limited company or a registered charity, for example, you are legally required to have a business bank account and are not allowed to do any business activity via your personal account. This is because your company is its own separate entity and thus requires its own account. Legally speaking, sole traders do not require a business bank account because the business is not its own entity. As a sole trader, you are the business and your business and personal income are treated as one and the same by the tax office. So the law does allow you to choose your personal account to do business transactions. That being said, this can be a slight gray area. I mentioned this because what you may find is that various bank and fintechs under their terms and conditions of use do not allow any business activity to be conducted via a personal bank account. And if their auditing system happens to notice a breach in this, they can write to close your account or request that you open a business one. So please, if you are a sole trader and would like to use your personal bank account for business activity, please check with your bank and ensure that they are happy for you to do so. Having a separate bank account for your business activity helps keep everything tidy. Maintaining separate accounts allows you to easily keep track of your business expenses and ensure of accurate recording as well. It simplifies it when it comes on to doing your tax reports, such as your self-assessment, aiding with account reconciliation, and that could be with your accountant or any accounting software you may use. In addition, it will also help you keep an eye on your business's financial health and cash flow as all the transactions and activity within that account is solely related to your business. When you first open a business, it can be difficult to su successfully apply for business funding as the business itself won't have much of a credit record. Having its own business account will allow you to clearly demonstrate its financial security and aspects such as payments being made on time regular cash flow coming in or out of the account, and hopefully demonstrate a healthy balance over time. In regards to applying for funding, I'll just briefly mention this as you may come across it at some stage. An important fact in this is that not all, but some banks and lenders may not accept funding applications to lend you money if you do not have a business bank account, which is something to keep in mind, particularly if you will be looking to get funding early on. There are many reasons as to why you may be looking to open a business bank account. We will now cover some of the main points and benefits for you to consider when opening a business account, be it from a high street bank or a financial technology company known as fintechs. Having a business bank account appears more professional and instills trust and confidence to your clients, to your suppliers, stakeholders, or anyone who may need to interact with you. This will make your customers feel more at ease and comfortable when paying for things such as invoices or having to transfer money. If your business is a legal entity, this could be a limited company or a registered charity, for example, you are legally required to have a business bank account and are not allowed to do any business activity via your personal account. 
This is because your company is its own separate entity and thus requires its own account. Legally speaking, sole traders do not require a business bank account because the business is not its own entity. As a sole trader, you are the business and your business and personal income are treated as one and the same by the tax office. So the law does allow you to use your personal account to do business transactions. That being said, this can be a slight gray area. I mention this because what you may find is that various bank and fintechs under their terms and conditions of use do not allow any business activity to be conducted via a personal bank account. And if their auditing system happens to notice a breach in this, they can write to close your account or request that you open a business one. So please, if you are a sole trader and would like to use your personal bank account for business activity, please check with your bank and ensure that they are happy for you to do so. Having a separate bank account for your business activity helps keep everything tidy. Maintaining separate accounts allows you to easily keep track of your business expenses and ensure of accurate recording as well. It simplifies it when it comes on to doing your tax reports, such as your self-assessment, aiding with account reconciliation, and that could be with your accountant or any accounting software you may use. In addition, it will also help you keep an eye on your business's financial health and cash flow as all the transactions and activity within that account is solely related to your business. When you first open a business, it can be difficult to su successfully apply for business funding as the business itself won't have much of a credit record. Having its own business account will allow you to clearly demonstrate its financial security and aspects such as payments being made on time, regular cash flow coming in or out of the account, and hopefully demonstrate a healthy balance over time. In regards to applying for funding, I'll just briefly mention this as you may come across it at some stage. An important fact in this is that not all, but some banks and lenders may not accept funding applications to lend you money if you do not have a business bank account, which is something to keep in mind, particularly if you will be looking to get funding early on. The requirements for what you need in order to open a business bank account will vary from bank to bank and also depend on how your business is set up. We will now cover some of the basic things you may need, though this list isn't exhaustive and whoever you choose to open an account with will be able to guide you with this. Just like opening a personal bank account, you will need to provide your personal information alongside identification and proof of address. If you are a business with multiple directors, persons with significant control, members, or you are in a partnership, you will have to do this for everyone. This normally also includes all the standard procedures which you may have come across in the past, including providing three years worth of address history. If you are a registered business, you will need to provide the relevant details, which will include company house details, such as registered number or your ch charity number date of incorporation, registered address, and trading address. Something to look out for, which may save you time, is to ensure that the names on Companies House for all directors match the spellings on the respective provided ID to ensure that the account application does not get rejected at that stage. Finally, some banks may ask you to provide your unique tax reference number referred to generally as your UTR. You get this from HMRC, and this will be the case for yourself if you are the sole owner of the account, all directors and partners. If you are setting up a business bank account with more than one person, you will need to decide on what mandate you will want on the account. In brief, a mandate provides the bank with a set of instructions as to who within the business is authorized to manage and transact with the bank account. 
There are different types of mandates and options can vary from bank to bank, though generally there are two main types, known as a simple mandate or a complex mandate. Simple mandates are normally more straightforward, where all people named on the account can be provided with a bank card, transact freely and have access to the account at all times in branch or online with no complexities, just as you would use your personal bank account for. Complex mandate allows you to set extra instructions and restrictions as to who may be able to access the account. For example, you can have it that at least two named people on the account must be present to transact, which in turn means that they're not able to have a bank account, a bank card and will have restricted online access to all individuals. You can set it that three people must be present and sign and so on. There are various combinations you can set depending on how complex you need it for your business. In addition, not everyone that is named on the account has to be on the mandate and non-account holders can be added to the mandate to facilitate with business banking. This is particularly helpful if you have staff which do the banking for you. You can add the relevant people on the mandate with limited access, which means they can still withdraw funds for the business. However, you can set a limit of maximum withdrawal allowances and set the relevant permitted access as to what or what not they may be able to access. If you are on the mandate, depending on its complexity and restrictions, you will be able to do everyday banking such as money transfers, make changes to the account, add or remove people from the mandate and sign up to products and services. If you are a sole trader or a sole director of the business, you will have a simple mandate with full access, so you are the only account holder. So this isn't something you'd need to think about at the moment. However, in the future, you may decide to add people on with limited access to support you with your everyday banking, or as a limited company, you may have more directors join in future. As a limited company, do remember if people are resigning from the business to contact your bank provider to update the mandate to remove their access as necessary. There are other considerations you can take when looking at opening an account for your business, which you may perhaps not have thought of just yet. You may have heard of the term fintechs being used when looking at banking options. Fintechs is short for financial technology. And when it comes to banking, it refers to your financial technology companies such as Tide, Revolut or Monzo, for example, who use financial technology to provide their services. Though high street banks are not fintechs by definition, they do have fintech facilities such as mobile banking services. Fintechs have risen in popularity recently and may provide you more flexibility and digital facilities as this is where they provide their services. Most of your banking now is likely to be done digitally, particularly with mobile banking. When opening a bank account, consider what the mobile banking facilities are within that particular bank, as it may play a part in your decision. You can, of course, have multiple bank accounts in different banks, so you're not just tied up to one place. Some mobile banking apps will connect with your accounting software provider for account reconciliation, for example, which is something you may find crucial. Generally speaking, business bank accounts are likely to have some charges, though this do, does vary massively from place to place. You may find that they have different monthly tariff costs, transactional charges, such as a fee when depositing, doing online transaction, or even large transfers, such as CHAPS payments. Look into what works best for you and your business activity type. Sometimes you may find some introductory offers, such as free banking for a certain amount of time. Have a look around and see what works best for you. Though business bank accounts often provide no 
nothing to very little interest, you can open a business savings account to not only protect your business funds, but also to earn some interest. There are different account types for different business. So check with whoever you're opening your business account with to ensure you open the appropriate business bank account. But this is just to make you aware as a sole trader, they will likely have an account dedicated for sole traders. A limited company will have an account for limited companies and so on. And finally, I'll just slightly touch on FCA and FSCS. And I would suggest when opening a business account to have a look into this. It's important to check that the business bank you're opening the account with is FCA regulated. This stands for the Financial Conduct Authority, and they are the conduct regulator for financial services and markets within the UK. Most financial institutions in the, in the UK are regulated by the FCA, which essentially ensures that fair practice is followed and that they have adhered to their standards and rules. There are some fintechs which may not have been granted banking status in the country yet and may not be FCA regulated this is something you may consider when making a decision. FSCS is the Financial Service Compensation Scheme, and this protects customers when authorised financial services fail. So it's definitely worth ensuring that whomever you bank choose to bank with is covered by this scheme. This, though we provide general business advice, we are not a financial institution. So if you'd like more financial guidance, I would look to speak directly to the FCA or FSCS, as well as a financial specialist who can look into this further for you. We have reached the end of the training module on business bank accounts. If you wanted to discuss this further or require any other business advice, please get in touch and we will be able to help you. All the very best on your learning journey and we look forward to seeing you soon.